Hey guys, it's Kat, and I am here to show you a here to show you what is in my little travel makeup bag. This is the bag that I take with me every single day. I think one of my biggest pet peeves or things that irk me is when I actually wake up, do my makeup in the morning, halfway to work and I realize oh, I forgot to put bronzer. Oh, I forgot to put blush. So I never really was a person who wanted to carry around a ton of makeup. I think the most that I would bring with me was actually just some lipstick or lip color because that stuff wears off pretty frequently during the day. Um, but after starting this new job and commuting so far, waking up in the morning, I forget a lot of things. I'm a very, very forgetful person. I decided to pick up a little makeup bag. I got this at Forever 21. I think this was 580 and I already broke off the little bobble that came on there just because I'm an idiot and I break it and I saved it to fix it but I haven't fixed it yet so basically I wanted to put everything in here that I needed to say if I woke up super super late and just had to go to work and not do my makeup at all which I know it's kind of vain but I kind of can't be in the office without any sort of makeup on A. I look like I'm 10 and B. I just don't feel like myself like I feel like I'm I don't know that probably sounds really bad like I really I do have some esteem guys but I just feel better when I feel like I'm put together if I feel like a mess I'm if I feel like I look like a mess I'm gonna act like I'm a mess if I'm put together I feel like I act like I'm together yeah anyways um, back to the bag it actually holds quite a lot of stuff in it and let me show you um, I also picked up this weekend, which you saw in my last haul, this little brush set, which is has some pretty decent brushes, and I mean for quick touch-ups or quick application, that really would suffice. For my face, I decided to throw in my Makeup Forever Professional Duo Matte Powder Foundation, and the reason why I chose this is because it's got a mirror, A, and it also has a little applicator too to put on. And these things you can always like buy replacements, so I'm not really worried about hygiene because A, I don't, I'm not going to use it that much. B, I have a powder and it's just really for convenience. Um, if I forgot to set my foundation and um, if I forgot to put foundation at all or didn't have time, this gives me really good coverage. So that's why I decided to put this in here. Um, I bring my Aquaphor Healing Ointment, which has been my saving grace for my lips so far. My lips, um, as the seasons change, they get really, really dry and cracked. And no matter if it's winter or summer, um, whenever there's a change in the weather, my lips kind of show it. So um, this has really been... I used to be really addicted to the Carmex stuff, but this is. I think this works better for me personally. So... If you guys haven't tried that for dry lips, I would definitely try that out. Eyeshadow, I threw in my NYX um, eyeshadow palette, the Runway collection with all the neutral colors. Because neutral colors are basically what I wear on an everyday basis. And if I need to do something quick, I'm not going to do anything crazy with color. I'm going to do something simple. So that's why I brought this. And this is such a cheap palette and it's pretty compact and you get a ton of stuff in it. It's really dusty actually. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> But um, you get a ton of different colors, and um, it's basically all you need as far as eyeshadow. Um, let's see, my bronzer, I threw in my bronzing powder from MAC that I got in a kit a while ago. I actually got this from a CCO. It's a pretty decent bronzer. Sometimes it looks a little bit red, a little bit orangey on me. I don't use it all the time, but it's, it's a pretty good bronzer, and so I decided to throw that in as well. And the only blush that I threw in was my e.l.f. blush in, um, what is this called? Pink Passion. Because I think, I've said this like a ton of times before, I think pink really picks up my skin and really makes me look more awake. So odds are if I'm running late in the morning, I probably didn't sleep that much or had a little trouble or something, feeling under the weather. 
and I think this definitely will pick up my skin and just make me look more awake. And what else? Oh, I also threw in a concealer. This is an Studio Finish Concealer in NW25. This really covers everything really quickly. Uh, when I decided to throw things in here, I just picked stuff that I think is kind of effortless for me and that I know works, so put that. Um, I also threw in my um, Fresh... Uh, mascara in Supernova. I actually really like this mascara. I've been using it every day. And I only just put it in here today just because I thought it, it fit. Who knows, I might be reaching into my makeup bag to, to use it. But it's got a really interesting brush for those of you who have never seen it. Well, I mean, maybe it's not that interesting. But I really like the shape because it kind of gets it's big and then it gets small and it gets big again. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but... I like the formula because it's super black. It really lengthens, but I get it gives like really good volume as well. So this is actually a really good mascara, and I'm thinking about um, purchasing the full size. And then for liner, I just threw in my NYX black pencil liner. Don't mind my nails, <laughs> but you know, liner's liner. And the lips I got, I threw in. I have three glosses, which I have with me all the time. Which are these guys. This one is the Plush Glass in Fashion Fanatic. This came out with the Quite Cute Collection. The Plush Glass Lip Gloss or the, was really the only lip gloss that I would ever buy from MAC. It just makes my lips look, it looks fuller. I'm gonna be honest, I think my lips look fuller when I wear this, um, their Plush Glasses, so I like them. This is the Minty Lip Gloss from ELF in Los Angeles. This is just a, you know, sometimes you want a little, sometimes I want a little sparkle, so this is my pink sparkle. And this gives, I think, a little bit more color, too, um, if I just want to throw something on really quickly. This I definitely almost always use on, um, over something, because it's so light, but, yeah, so that's that. And then I have my Dior Attic Ultra Gloss Reflect in 227. I love this gloss over pretty much every lipstick. If I have something that's a little too nude or whatnot, this just makes it, I don't know, it just brings my lips to life. It's a really good gloss to layer over things. It's got um, some gold in it and it's a pretty peachy bronze color. And lastly, lipsticks that I always have with me um, is my Urban Decay Love Child which is like one of my absolute favorite pinks ever. I think I need to get hair. Um, I need to buy a replacement for this soon because it's getting low. This is actually what I have on today with the Fashion Girl, Fashion Fanatic lip gloss on top. I have Angel, which is my new favorite, one of my new favorite pinks. And then Mob It Over, which is a really good neutral color too. So pretty much pinks and neutrals in my kit, in my um, to-go bag here. Things, like I said, that I don't really have to think about. I also have the blotting strips that came in my, that Basha kit that I bought the other day. Because, you know, if you forget to put makeup on too, it's really good to clean up any oil before you put any powder on or stuff like that. So that's why I keep those and they all zip up nicely. So yeah. So that's it. That's everything that's in here. And it kind of seems like a really big bag, but you know, sometimes in emergencies, you're, it's better. I always like having it rather than feeling like I should have just brought it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what's in my makeup bag. Um, I hope that was helpful to you guys or entertaining at least to those of you who don't really carry around makeup. But yeah, so that's what I bring with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what are some of your must-haves with you when you go out or what, during your day. And tweet me, comment, leave me a message, some love, you know. Thumbs up if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!